Cars. Radiator Springs Road Trip. There was excitement in Radiator Springs. Lightning McQueen had just announced the Big Piston Cup tiebreaker race. Do you think he can beat Chick Hicks? Sally the Blue Sports Car asked. Lightning can beat anybody, Mater the tow truck replied. I just wish we could be there to cheer him on, Mater continued. Well, said Doc, the town judge and doctor, I've been thinking about that. Maybe we should head out there. He's still a rookie. He needs us. And so Lightning's friends hit the road, and the road to California was a long one. To keep from getting tired in the hot sun, the cars pulled over at a rest stop. Flo looked around and smiled. I love Radiator Springs, but it sure is nice to take a trip from time to time. After a rest, the cars continued on their way. Mater led the line. When he turned around to check on his friends, he didn't see Guido the forklift. Worried, Mater went to look for him and found Guido down the road a bit. It was hot and the little forklift had fallen behind. Mater offered to give him a tow. I hope you don't mind looking at where we've been instead of where we're going, he said. Finally, they arrived at the Los Angeles International Speedway. It was almost race time. Sarge took command. Flo, oil stand over here. Guido, tires and tools right there. Ramon was itching to do some painting. Try snazzing up this pit. We need to show off our star car, Doc told him. But where was Lightning McQueen? Doc went off with Mater to look for him. There were so many cars around, it wasn't easy to find Lightning. There he is, Mater shouted. Over there! Doc turned to look, but Lightning had disappeared. Mater split off to search on his own. He spotted the tent for Rusty's, Lightning's sponsor, and checked there first. Hey, you're Tow Mater, said an old van. We've heard about you. How about a free sample, Mater, said a grinning blue car. It'll take some rust off your bumper. Rust? On me? Where? Mater asked, alarmed. But Flo rushed in and pulled the tow truck away before they could touch him up. Let's see if we can find some decorations for Lightning's pit area, Flo told Mater. Forgetting what he was actually looking for, Mater followed Flo to a truck that was selling cool souvenirs. He picked out some snazzy Lightning McQueen antenna balls. Mm-mm, I like those, Flo said. Looks like we're gonna have a ball today, Mater joked. Meanwhile, Doc had driven around to check out the other crews. As he neared Chick Hicks's tent, he heard something, and it wasn't good. I'm winning this time, no matter what I have to do, Chick told his crew. I'm going to force the king and that smart aleck rookie off the track, Chick went on. Doc knew he had to warn Lightning that Chick was up to his usual dirty tricks, but he still didn't know where Lightning was. Doc found Mater and told him about Chick's plan. We gotta warn Lightning, yelled Mater. This area is for press only, said a tough-looking SUV guard. No one gets through, and that's final. Doc turned away from the press area sadly. It looked like they'd never find Lightning in time. Mater hated to see Doc looking so down, so he tossed him an antenna ball to cheer him up. Here, Doc, it has Lightning's number. We're part of his team. He needs us, Mater said. Doc grinned. You're right, Mater. Let's get to the pit. And tell Ramon I need a special paint job. This is what friendship is all about, Doc thought, as he drove up to the crew chief platform. The crowd roared as he stood there proudly. Carefully, Ramon painted the words, Fabulous Hudson Hornet, on his side. As Lightning made a turn around the track, he was surprised to see his friends from Radiator Springs in the pit crew area. He didn't know they'd come all the way to California to cheer him on. Hey kid, keep an eye on Hicks, Doc said over his radio headset. He's up to no good. But Lightning wasn't worried. He knew his friends were there for him. He revved his motor and sped down the track. 
Ka-chow!